Circle is a very underrated movie in my opinion. It's one of those movies that I didn't hear about when it first came out, mostly because it didn't get a theatrical release, which really does help with a movie's exposure. So a little while ago, I was looking through Netflix and just happened upon this movie and the synopsis intrigued me, so I decided to watch it. And I thought it was really good. So that's why I want to talk about it, to get maybe two or three more people to watch this movie. Let's get into the plot. 50-ish people of different backgrounds and creeds wake up in a dark room arranged in a circle. Hence the name of the movie. They are not allowed to leave, and every two minutes or so, they are forced to vote on the next person to die, until there is only one person left. There can be only one. The good. I do love cold opens in movies, especially when you're trying to work out what is happening along with the characters in the story. Well, if you didn't read the entire plot of the movie first. I will say that the movie is very well acted for a whole bunch of people that you have never heard of before. Off the top of my head, there wasn't anybody in the movie that I knew, which helps with the movie's budget, of course. You guys are getting paid? Now, the main drive of this movie is it tackles people's different biases. Biases. Biases? Biases. Racism, sexism, and even abortion are all topics that are brought up. Whether they are tackled very well, well, that is up to you. I found that a lot of things that were talked about in this movie is very relevant today. This movie came out in 2015 and it's still shocking to see that nearly nine years later that all this stuff is still relevant. Goes to show how slowly we progress as a society. We fucked up. In the movie, it's also very interesting to see people come up with different tactics and stories and try and ensure their own survival in the game, let's call it. People that you perceive as being good try to manipulate other people into killing other people first. It is very interesting to play out. You get a lot of satisfaction from watching certain people die, like the racists. I'm always happy to see them go first. Like you people don't get enough help. You guys are all the same. You run around, you just want people to hand you things like you fucking earned it. That's what's wrong with this country now. I mean, Jesus Christ! Give me a fucking break around here! That's pretty good. Also, another hilarious thing in this movie is when not just one guy, but multiple people, they're just assholes, and they start being an asshole and just start talking shit to a whole bunch of different people, and inevitably, everybody votes for them to die. Like, if I were in that scenario, I would be keeping my mouth shut, like that one guy. Well, it didn't really work out well for him, though. The bad. I can see many people getting bored because it is essentially a group of people trapped in a room and all they're doing is talking. And dying, but mostly talking. This movie was mostly inspired by 12 Angry Men, a movie I have yet to watch and I swear I'm going to get to one day eventually. And I swear the people that give this movie a low rating are just people that can't enjoy a movie that has just dialogue and no action. Like it's really interesting to see the different ratios of five star and one star. It's baffling. So because it is mostly people talking in a room, it might not appeal to every single moviegoer. But because the stakes are so high, well, death, it keeps the movie interesting for me at least. The ending is also what you would not expect, and I have seen a lot of people say how disappointing and weak the ending is. Personally, it didn't bother me as much as other people, but I can see where people are coming from. Do I recommend the movie? Yes, especially if you like shows in the vein of The Twilight Zone and Black Mirror. It really does feel like a feature-length film of an episode of one of those shows, and I found it very interesting and engaging. So yes, I recommend checking out Circle. Currently, it is on Netflix in Australia, and I have no fucking idea where else in the world it is available. So even if I recommend the movie or not, you should see the movie for yourself and come up with your own opinion. You can comment your opinions in the comment section down below, or let me know how my opinion is wrong. Thank you for checking out my little channel. If you enjoyed the video, you can like the video or dislike the video, subscribe and check out my other videos and social medias. There are links all around the place. As always, more videos to come. Have a good one.